What's going on guys? Greg Misko Styles, and today we have the Sergio Perkovic replica pocket in the Rebel Offense head. You might have seen we just signed him as a pro for this PLL Championship Series. Really excited. He's a guy that I've wanted to work with for forever, ever since watching him at Notre Dame. His style of play is a lot of fun to watch, just a lot of power, and to see him using our products is a dream come true. So he's got the Rebel Offense with our Hero 3. He actually used this setup for the back half of last year, and a lot of you guys have been asking for his pocket, so here it is. Uh, it's a really great midfield pocket, uh, exactly what you expect Sergio to use. A nice mid pocket with a tight channel. It's got a little bit of whip, great for cranking up those two pointers. Um, can't wait to watch him play within the championship series. So let's dive into the sidewall pattern. Standard nine diamond top string, you need to know regular knots, a knot of the SI, as well as ones. This pattern looks more complicated than it is. It should be pretty simple. So we're gonna dive into showing you guys how to string the pocket. Okay, so we've got the top string on our second sidewall hole. We're gonna start the pattern as we do most of ours with a double loop. So go through the third sidewall hole, up from the face to the back of the mesh, back around, creating a loop on that first sidewall hole. And then you're just gonna repeat that process one more time through that first hole of mesh and through the third sidewall hole again, and you're just gonna create this double loop. It's gonna keep that top diamond nice and tight. And then we're gonna go into two knots, so two overhand knots here for the second and third rows of mesh. So we're gonna skip one hole, go through the outside of the plastic, and then from the front to the back of the mesh, just like that, and then you're gonna come around and back over that string, creating that overhand knot. And the key here is to get all that slack pulled out of it and get it nice and tight so over time it doesn't loosen up. We're gonna do the same thing again, skipping one more hole and going to that third sidewall hole. Again, pulling all that slack out. So now you've got your first three sidewall holes set and now we're gonna go into a knotted SI. So for the knotted SI, as a reminder, you're gonna come from the back of the mesh to the front and then through the outside of the sidewall without going through the mesh, back around, form that knot. You haven't gone back through the mesh yet. Tighten that knot up, and now you're gonna go back through the mesh from the front to the back, and that's gonna create that knotted SI, which is gonna lock that hole down super tight. Then we're just gonna do a false knot here, so that means doing a knot without any mesh on it. So just go down to the next sidewall hole and create that overhand knot without ever going through the mesh. And then we're gonna get into a long series of ones here. So one, two, three, four, five, six ones to wrap up the pattern. Very simple. You're gonna come down through the back of the mesh to the front, and you can use knots here or you can use regular ones. Uh, Sergio is gonna be using knots. So then you come around and create that knot. So there's one, and then you're gonna just keep going down and doing this subtle bunch up is gonna create a really nice long channel, um, but still help maintain some pocket depth, um, but keep it nice and tight. So continuing down, that's three, four, no skips in here, just going straight down and through, five, and then for the last one, is gonna be the one where we just go into our tie off. So that's gonna be number six, straight through the back of the mesh, and then through inside to outside of the second last sidewall hole, and that is gonna complete your sidewall pattern. So once you're wrapped up, you gotta work with the bottom string. He's got his dropped a little lower just to let it get a little deeper for him. You could bump it up a row onto the next nine diamond if you want it to be just a little bit tighter and keep it legal for you guys in high school, middle school, college. Uh, for shooting strings, just like all the replica pockets, uh, this is adjustable based on your whip preferences. He's got two straights and a nylon. This is what I would recommend probably. It gives it a good feel coming out. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. Stein trying to stay with him.